What's going on everybody? Welcome to the video. Today we are going to be opening and testing out this mini tabletop fountain. So here it is. I just picked this up at Dollar General just a couple days ago. Today we are here at Dollar General and we are going to be picking out a little tabletop fountain. It looks like they have multiple kinds. They have this kind which has like multiple streams of water and then this one looks like it falls into like a different basket. So I don't know. I kind of like this one better because I think it looks cooler. Oh. <laughs> so like I was saying before, I think we're gonna go with this one because I just think it's better. I don't think it looks cooler um, And it's only eight dollars. So and now we're here at home ready to unbox it. So um, It said it was eight dollars. You can see the little tag right there But when it rung up, it was only like five or six. So already pretty good deal um, We're just gonna open it up like this And see what's inside So we got a use care and safety instruction sheet Safety instruction sheet. There we go. Read carefully and keep for future reference. Okay, so we don't need that. We have rocks. Very nice. Yes, we have a small bag of rocks in bubble wrap just in case they're rocking around. As you can see in the front picture, you can see little rocks right there. So there we go. It comes with like 20 little pea gravel rocks. So that's important. We need that. It also, let's see here. It also comes with, there we go. So here it is. Looks pretty cool actually. We have these pieces of foam. We're just gonna take off like that. There we go. Here it is. Instead of a big thing of plastic, which is interesting, but just go like that. There we go. So now that we have it out, it actually feels a lot more like heavier than I thought it was, which is good because I don't know, it doesn't have that cheap plasticky like feeling to it. So that's pretty cool. And I think it looks pretty nice too. It's still looks a little bit like, like 3D printed, you know, how things can kind of look cheap like that, but it's actually not too bad. Um, it's like the same size as it shows, I guess, like what other size would it be? It's the size of the box, but, um, I think that it needs some batteries. It doesn't have a plug or anything, so I think we just uh, put some batteries in here. It has this little thing that I think we pull. Ah, there we go. So this opens and we need two AA batteries. So let's go get those. Okay guys, so I'm back and I have two batteries, but these are rechargeable batteries. They're from Amazon. They're just like the Amazon basic, whatever. But that's good because we don't need to be wasting a ton of batteries on this little water fountain. So. We're just gonna pop these right in the bottom like this there we go they're in and there's a switch right on the back right here but first I think we need to fill it with water I might have to go get those instructions that I threw because I don't really know how much water to put in here but we can probably just wing it then add the rocks I don't know okay guys I'm back with the water um I just filled this thing with water this little vase I don't really know how much water we need I looked at the instructions and it's just like fill until a uh, steady stream is coming through sorry kind of sick right now so i keep coughing but um i think our first step is to add these little rocks so we're just going to open this up just like this i don't know why they had to glue the rocks to the bubble wrap and make everything so difficult but we just have to get the rocks out now okay so i finally got the rocks out let me check the box real quick it looks like there's just rocks on the bottom i don't see any rocks on the top but I kind of feel like it would look cool with rocks on the top, so I don't know. But there doesn't really seem like enough rocks to, to cover everywhere. So for now, we're just going to put them on the bottom like this. There we go. Don't need that. That is not very many rocks. I don't know if you guys can see, but they just cover like half of the bottom. But I think it's now time to fill it up with water. So I'm just going to pour it right in the back right here like this. And then uh, hopefully it works and doesn't leak all over my floor because I am in my bedroom. And there's carpet in my bedroom. So, you know. Okay, so I filled it up um, probably a little bit too full, but hopefully once I turn it on, the water will go into these little places too. So we're going to turn it on and see what happens. Oh, I hear it. Oh, it's actually working. 
Hey guys, so I'm editing this right now and you guys might be like, why is she so surprised that it's actually working? Guys, listen, I did not think that this was going to work at all. I was like for sure that it just wasn't going to work. So that's why I have the reaction that I did. I was planning on this not working and not uploading this video. So I was happy and excited and so surprised that it works. So yeah, just to let you guys know. Look, do you see it? That is so cool. Hold up, I'm going to add a little bit more. There we go. That is awesome. Do you guys see this? Look at that. It's a little fountain. Look at this thing. It's actually super cool. I think I might have overfilled it just a little bit. Look how close it is to pouring out. But look how cool that looks. I want to get a couple more like little pea gravel rocks and put them in the top in the, the middle one here. Just to give it a little bit more color. But... Actually, a good idea is maybe cut a little piece of pothos. Um, if you guys know what that is, it's like a type of plant and I can like stick it in the water right here and then it can grow, like get roots and everything. And then I could have a little plant in my fountain. That is so cool. So I have my pothos plant right here and I am going to cut off a little piece right in here, like right, let's see here, right here, this piece with these leaves you see there's a little root right here and that will go in the water and then it won't die what we need to do is take the scissors just cut right here if you guys can see right there why aren't the scissors cutting there we go perfect there we go so now we have our little little piece of pothos and i'm not really sure where we want to put it but see these little roots right here so we could put it i guess maybe not up here but like we could somehow tuck it in here. I was just thinking like along the side right here because it has the water over there. But I don't know. I think it looks pretty good like that. So I might just leave it like that and then put it next to my window and it will start to grow. Okay, guys, I'm in my garage now. And listen, I do want a little bit more gravel in... Wow, it's echoing in here. I do want a little bit more gravel in our mini fountain. So I have this thing of pea gravel right here, this bag of it. I don't know why I whacked it. I don't know. But I'm just going to grab a little handful of it. We'll wash it off because it has a ton of clay on it, um, and then we'll see how it looks. Well, that didn't work very well because the gravel was super small and it would actually get stuck in the tiny hole where the water gets pumped out from the pump down below. It didn't work out exactly how I was hoping, but it still looked really nice, and maybe in the future I can find some more little gravel that's about that size that we can add to the top to make it look even nicer. So, um, I know I said that I was going to try to post every single day of this month, but <laughs> you guys see how that's turned out. Um... Yeah, so I'm still trying to post every day or maybe every other day if I can't get a video up every single day. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. This is how many people are not subscribed. Listen, this is the percent right here. See? Analytics. Guys, please subscribe. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers by Christmas, which as time goes on, is slowly getting less and less likely to happen. So just hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video.